So down here, hopefully you can hear me okay, but we are putting in these two big drain pipes because there is quite a bit of water that comes through because it's such a big dip. And then our driveway will be going directly behind up that hill, kind of where those cars are. We're gonna bring this up quite a bit and make it so that the water can freely flow through here so we don't have erosion issues. These giant concrete culverts we got um, kind of locally and they were like basically the duds that weren't gonna be used. So we got them at a really good price actually. It was like maybe a third of what we would have paid for plastic ones, which is awesome to have concrete instead since they'll last so much longer. So now the trench for the culverts is dug out there and Eric is kind of carving up where the driveway will go up so we can grade that and bring in some of that soil down because we need to also have soil to put across the top of the culverts uh, because we don't just wanna dig a hole deep enough to sink them down in. We actually wanna bring this whole dip up some. So we dug out, I don't know, maybe like a third of the way and then we'll install them and then cover them with soil and then get hopefully another load of gravel tomorrow. And looking at all this, I am so glad that I already ordered some seed to scatter because everything just gets so torn up when you're using heavy equipment like this. So we're gonna make sure and go through and scatter as quickly as we can so that the ground isn't bare and eroding and losing soil nutrients and that kind of stuff. Culverts are in and they pushed a bunch of earth back on top and it's looking so good. And we're getting multiple loads of gravel today so it'll cover this area pretty soon actually which is really exciting. This was another really bad part of the driveway that we were really excited to get more drivable. And then it'll come all the way up here and go up the hill. And where we're standing right now is probably about a little over halfway up the driveway. So we still have a long ways to go, <laughs> but they're moving really fast today, so that's exciting. Today is a pretty chill day, which is super nice to have. I'm just burning some brush piles. We're not burning a ton. A lot of it we're actually gonna keep to do some raised beds and stuff with, but we have so many. <laughs> yeah, we really like the idea of using it to let it decompose instead of burning it because when you burn it down to ash, you just don't wind up with that much. That's something that we've been learning about. Some different permaculture methods. When you let it break down, it lasts a lot longer and goes a lot further but we have a ton we took so many trees down and stuff so we're burning some today it rained this morning so it's a pretty good day to light a fire it's actually really nice and cool today cows are just loose grazing this hillside it's breezy feels like the beginning of fall which is very welcome here is our current situation up at the build site definitely looking different it's pretty torn up but it gets worse before it gets better that is um, some septic rock, but also rock for our footings for the cottage. And it's pretty smoky. We have a few burn piles going on, but things are really starting to take shape. We have the excavator for two more days. And so Eric's working on leveling 
where we're putting the cottage and then we have another fun project. We're up at our build site. That's all back here, but we're gonna work on another fun project while we have the excavator. It's not necessarily a high, high priority, but Eric's making pretty good time and it's been something that we've been really excited to do. So all these logs are from trees that we took down from another part of the property where we're running power. And Eric's been hauling them up here periodically to do a round wood, root cellar, like a traditional, pretty rustic root cellar, which I'm really excited about. So we're gonna take advantage of this eroded, kind of steep hillside. That was, I guess, where they were using for logging. We don't really have any other plans for this area and it's gonna be pretty hard to get stuff to grow on this because it's already just exposed, eroded soil. So Eric's gonna start digging into this and we're gonna do a eight by 10-ish root cellar so it'll have the round wood logs on all the sides and then on top and then we'll pile the dirt around it. It'll be the first time that we're doing something like this but we're really excited and we have the logs so why not because I know that we'll use it. Here's a lot of the logs that we're going to be using. Uh, some of them were already up here and we just really have to take the bark off. I think Eric already cut most of them to size and then once we actually dig into this dig down to set them, we'll hopefully get them put in. We'll see, I don't know how long it's gonna take. It's all different kinds of wood, I don't really know, but hopefully it works. What are you muttering about? I'm muttering about what's what, I don't know what's what. <laughs> but generally, these are gonna be the walls. So it'll be three walls. Two sides in the back. Two sides behind you, I think, are the ones in the back because they're slightly longer, slightly taller. And they're going to actually rest against the roof. And, wait, no, that's the roof. <laughs> that back there is the back wall. It's a lot narrower. Those up there are what's going to go on top of the walls. So basically, Spike the together. logs will be supporting the entire roof and basically keeping it from collapsing inward. And they're gonna go into the ground three feet-ish to help stabilize it, yeah, something like that. Probably don't need much. Wow, oh, it's really pretty. Mm -hmm. Gonna be a lot of this for the next couple days. That one stack mostly done. Gotta get all the bark off in any spots that are really wet and starting to rot so that they hopefully last a pretty long time. Eric got it dug. It's looking really good. It's really interesting to see this far down into the soil too. So this back section where he dug out extra deep is where the back posts will be set. Got some aseptic gravel in there, really big pieces. Just for drainage, help the post last longer. And this is, gosh, 10 feet deep right now? About 10 feet deep right there in the back? Probably about. Today we are working on grading for where the cottage will go, which is this area that he's on right now already looking really good. Can't wait to see tiny little cottage up here. And then directly behind me is where the root cellar is. We made some good progress on that yesterday. So it is our last day with the excavator and we're just trying to do some final um, like swales and stuff like that to redirect water. So the driveway is on my left and we had a rainstorm a few days ago and started to see some places that a little bit of water was washing out some of the gravel. So Eric's just kind of going through and 
digging a little bit and roughing things up in the general direction of the pond um, to send water that way. And then we'll go through with the tractor and box blade and kind of shape it and smooth it all out. Here's another area where we're doing the same thing. So all the water that's coming down from the top of that hill should travel on the, looking at it right now, the left side of the driveway, kind of hug that curve. And then as it comes down the hill, we're directing it all the way over here further to the right, away from the driveway. So that's a lot of the stuff that we've been doing with the excavator. And then we'll go back through with the tractor and make it look better.